Chapter 3 Hydrosphere Hydrological Cycle Hydrological cycle is the circulation of water in different forms if that the liquid, solid and the gaseous phages. It also refers to the continuous exchange of water between the oceans, atmosphere, land surface, subsurface and all organisms. The hydrological cycle sometimes is expressed mathematically as Rf equal to Ro plus Et, where Rf includes all types of precipitation, Rvo is runoff, Et is evapotranspiration. There are six stages of water cycle, evaporation, transportation, condensation, precipitation, runoff, groundwater. Evaporation Water is transferred from the surface to the atmosphere through evaporation. The process by which water changes from a liquid to a gas, the sun's heat provides energy to evaporate water from the earth's surface. Land, lakes, rivers, and oceans send up a steady stream of water vapor. Transportation The movement of water through the atmosphere, specifically from over the ocean to overland, in the form of clouds. Clouds are propelled from one place to another by either upper air circulation, surface-based circulations like land and sea breezes or other mechanisms. Condensation The transported water vapor eventually condenses, forming tiny droplets and clouds. Precipitation The primary mechanism for transporting water from the atmosphere to the surface of the earth is precipitation. Runoff Most of the water which returns to land flows down hills as runoff. Some of it penetrates and charges groundwater while the rest. Groundwater Under special circumstances, groundwater can even flow upward in Artesian wells. The flow of groundwater is much slower than runoff. Water sources 97.25% of water is saline ocean waters and only 2.75% is fresh water. The greatest portion of the fresh water, 68.7, is in the form of ice and permanent snow cover in the Antarctica. The Arctic and in the mountain regions, 29.9% exists as fresh ground waters. Only 0.26% of the total amount of fresh water on the earth is concentrated in lakes, reservoirs and river system. Where it is most easily accessible for our economic needs and absolutely vital for water ecosystems. Oceans The huge water bodies are called oceans. The geographers have described the oceanic part of the earth into five oceans namely the Pacific Ocean the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. A sea is a body of saline water partly or fully enclosed by land. The major oceanic divisions are defined in part by the continents, various archipelagos and other criteria. Relief of the Ocean Ocean floor is divided into four parts. 1. Continental Shelf The continental shelf with depth up to 200 meters occupies about 7.6 of the ocean area. It is the border zone between land and sea. Continental Shelf is important because fish wealth is more in this region. Rock petroleum, natural gas are found here. Building seaport is possible here. 2. Continental Slope 
the continental slope is spread from 200 meters to 3000 meters depth with complex relief. It comprises of 15% of the ocean area. Deep sea plain, abyssal plain. Deep sea plains are gently sloping areas of the ocean basins. These are the flattest and smoothest regions of the world. Oceanic deeps, trenches. These are the large narrow trenches that plunge as great ocean deeps to a depth of 6000 meters. Contrary to our expectations, most of the deepest trenches are not located in the midst of oceans. They are found more close to the continents. Salinity of the ocean. Most of the salt in the oceans come from land. Over millions of years rain, rivers and streams have washed over rocks containing the compound sodium chloride and carried into the sea. You may know sodium chloride by its common name table salt. Some of the salt in the oceans come from undersea volcanoes and hydrothermal vents. When water evaporates from the surface of the ocean, the salt is left behind. After millions of years, the oceans have developed a noticeably salty water. Salinity is the term used to define the total content of dissolved salts in seawater. It is calculated as the amount of salt dissolved in 1000 grams of seawater. It is usually expressed as parts per thousand or PPT. Generally speaking, the average salinity of the oceans is 35% or about 35 parts of salt in 1000 parts of water. Ocean Temperature The activeness of southwest monsoon in India is affected by El Nino and La Nino. These are the effects caused by the changes of temperature in the Pacific Ocean. The ocean temperature is influenced by latitudes, wind, ocean currents, unequal distribution of land and change of seasons. Normally, the temperature in the ocean varies from 2 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius. Ocean Currents the ocean current is the general movement of a mass of water in a fairly defined direction over great distance. The ocean currents are sometimes called ocean rivers. Ocean currents may be classified based on temperature as cold currents and warm currents. Generally, warm currents flow towards the poles. Cold currents flow towards the equator. Ocean currents are classified as stream and drift based on speed. The ocean water current which flows speedily is called a stream and that which flows slowly is called a drift. Ocean currents are caused by following factors. 1. Centrifugal force 2. Effect of winds 3. Precipitation 4. Solar energy Ocean as a resource. Most life on Earth is under the water. Human beings still have not finished identifying all different forms of life in oceans. Human beings have depended on oceans for their food and livelihood from the ancient times. Oceans provided abundant food resources like fish and salt. We also use the sand gravel, etc. for our industries or housing. Humans extract minerals like chlorine, fluorine, iodine from it. Ocean waves are used for generating power. Ocean floor is mined for oils. Oceans are provided with germs and pearls. For centuries, we have created our civilizations on its shores and traded across each other traveling over them. Yet today, oceans have also fallen victim to our exploitation. Many large fishes like whales have been disappearing. Oceans have also become dumping ground for our plastic, 
and other forms of waste. Ma video gan kamik na chinat laite like chendi share chendi. Elanti mare ni videos kosam ma channel is subscribe chase kodam matram marchipokandi. Thank you for watching.